Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to taste a new product from the Green River Distillery. It's Green River Rye. Yes. Just got this bottle the other day. It is a uh, uh, rye whiskey. It's a 95.5 mash bill. Uh, 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Don't see an age statement on this, so it's at least four years old. I'm looking forward to trying this. Uh, I've not even uh, tried it myself yet. And you've been out of town, so right, you haven't yeah. had a chance to... No, no, I haven't tasted anything in a while. So... Yeah. so <clears throat> um, Green River's been around for a few years, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is stuff that they've distilled. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're, uh, uh, they were recently purchased by Bardstown Bourbon Company. Okay. And that's awesome. What do you think about the Bardstown Bourbon Company distillery? It's, got, it's more of a modern feel. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's Whereas got, Green River is very traditional. You yeah. Know, you've never been there, have you? I've not been to... Well, we're going to have to make a trip to Owensboro. Yeah. Let's... Definitely, you get that rye grass. Mm hmm. You get like nice green apple. Yeah. A little bit of a baking soda, maybe, in our ba baking spices. Uh, mm hmm. There's something else in there, though. Yeah. Maybe. Not, almost like a cotton candy esque yeah. or something like that. Just a sponge sugar kind of smell. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take a sip and see what we can. Delicious. That's really good. That's that's very nice. Yeah. I like how you get a nice good bit of rye spice in there. You um, get, I get the rye grass. I get like strawberry and raspberry. Mm-hmm. I get a little bit of like cinnamon, nutmeg, and oak. I mean, this is just really nice whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, that spice is really good too. I, I really like that spice. It's yeah. really nice. <laughs> um, Let's try it with the yeah. cranberry and see what it tastes like. Kind of takes spice out of. Yeah, it's it's slightly there, but not as much. I think the finish kind of is a little bit even tamer. Like even the oak, mm -hmm. you know. What did I say? What's the proof on this? Ninety five. Yeah, ninety five proof. Ninety five. Yeah. Um. Very nice. Very nice. Not not as good with the crayon, but yeah, you know, it kind of it kind of mutes some things for me. Right. Um. But uh. Yeah, that happens a lot with the crayon for me. Right. The cranberry did kind of brought some extra fruit out of it. You know, yeah. I was getting that apple that you were smelling earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, but I was still getting that berry. But it wasn't that so much strawberry. It was more raspberry, blackberry. Yeah. Well, let's try it with pecan and see what happens. That's great. Yeah. Chocolatey caramel, like mm -hmm. a lighter milk chocolate. Um, spices is right back in there. Um, nice peppery spice on that one. Yeah, I was gonna say, the spice is in there, but it's different types of spice. It's it more is. of a pepper than it is baking spice. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe a little cinnamon. Um, and then that oak is just right. sticking I'm, right there with me. On the finish. Yeah. 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 
That's yeah, really good. Really nice with the pecan. Mm-hmm. Grab a piece of chalk. That really brings out the caramel. Mm -hmm. Makes it nice and creamy, and it's the spice is still there. It, it mutes right. a little bit, but it I get like well, it takes it from being pepper to more of back to the baking spices. Yeah, mm -hmm. until the finish. Now in this finish, I'm getting oak and a lot of black pepper. Yeah, it's got that black peppery. Yeah, delicious stuff. Yeah, that's really whiskey. good. So. so, to the people at uh, uh, the Green River Distillery, good job. Yeah. Can't wait to visit the distillery. Yeah.